All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Just wanted to catch you up to date on a little project this morning. I've got our original chicken coop here that we bought from um, Orschlund's here three or four years ago when we lived back in town. And it's needing some repair, and we're gonna put it back in service for a temporary uh, housing for our little chicks. And so, um, just wanted to catch you up to date. Stay tuned. Taco Doodle Crew! <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, glad to have you with us. We are working on this chicken coop today, and uh, I kind of wanted to go through a little bit of backstory. This is the original beginnings of our chicken operation, is this coop right here, and uh, kind of tell you how that came about and uh, go through some things that we've modified on the original and then uh, kind of con current condition and then what we're going to do to fix it up today. Um, so, we lived in town, in a very small town here in Kansas. Uh, oh, we moved a year and a half ago, something like that, out here to the country. But we were pretty much uh, on the edge of town as it was. And so we wanted to do some chickens for the girls, and we were walking around Orslands one day looking in their springtime, looking at the chicks they had and the coops they had, and kind of wishy-washy about it. But um, one of the employees there, nice guy, Derek, so he kind of said, well, we've got a return unit that I can get you a deal on. So anyway, this is that coop, and um, it is not very big. It's probably enough for maybe three full-size chickens, but we started out with bantams since we were in town, and we wanted to be able to have five or six chickens, and with the bantam-sized birds, they're smaller, and so that's what we bought for our first set of chicks, and uh, maybe I'll find some old pictures or something to put in here for you. But anyway, before I assembled this coop, I made some modifications to it, and I'll kind of show you the current condition, and let's take a look. Okay, so here's our original coop, and some of the things I did before I even assembled it was that on this woodwork here, I put a coat of polyurethane. That has not lasted at all. You can see there's still some drip marks, because I kind of just did it um, before assembly. I thought that was really going to make a big difference for this, uh, being out in the weather all the time, and it wore off pretty fast, so whatever kind I used, I would probably recommend something heavier duty, and um, anyway, so that was the first thing I did, and I've also made modifications as in this PVC feeder that I made and added so that you could store chicken food in there. Since it's been out of service, it's a nice place for the mice to come and eat the leftover feed that's still in there. Um, here's some boards and things that I'm going to use to maybe do some repair. And here's the original ladder that has f fell off. Um, here's some guineas and chickens trying to come get in the middle of the project here. Uh, a couple other things we did when, when we first bought it was we added um, some hardware, door hardware, because these things come with very kind of chintzy little door handles and I was concerned about making sure it was secure so I added uh, at least one of these slider bolts. This string right here goes to a doorway that, that opens and closes the upper portion of the of the chicken coop. I can show you that here after a little bit. And um, we also hung a feed, a waterer in there. That green, that green PVC waterer is hanging in there. And I uh, never really liked that waterer very much. Just didn't perform the way I wanted it to. The chickens didn't really utilize it. it seemed like they were always out of water. So um, not sure that I will continue using that or not, but it was kind of an, I want to say I spent 40 bucks on that thing. So you can see through there, there's a, uh, the doorway goes up and down. If you want to close in birds at night, uh, which just sort of helps them to uh, get used to being cooped up at night. So anyway, this is your basic coop. I think originally they run about $250. And uh, I think I paid about 150 for this one, but it was like I said, a return. And, and um, I was given a special deal on it, but, I tell you what, that just um, is not holding up too well over time, really. The other thing I'm really glad I did when I first assembled it was I put these treated 2x4s 
along the bottom so that this what I call cheapy balsa wood um, stuff will uh, not be sitting against the ground and so that treated two before has been sitting against the ground and something I would do want to do on this latest update to it is add wheels to one side to make it easier to to move around wheels and, and handles um, so that's kind of the rundown and it's sitting on the tractor forks here so I can easily move it around and um, and work on it today so anyway uh, I'll kind of let you watch as we're working along the other thing here you can see this door has pulled away this is the egg the the egg uh, door I put in a little divider in there myself because the birds were always sleeping in their nesting boxes so I want to be able to block that off and we got a mouse nest in there um, so it's needing a little general repair you can see this these screws have pulled out so I'm gonna try some longer screws and try to tighten all that up anyway um, overall not real impressed with the with the lasting power on this coop but it has served its purpose to get us started into the chicken uh, world and that's probably the best thing it did for us is get us a starting point and um, well I've used it for a sick chicken here and there or um, you know now we're going to use it for some babies that it's warm enough now they can be out and uh, they can they are going to be fine in this coop uh, even though there's a bunch of them but they're still pretty small so anyway that's kind of where we're at and I'll start showing you the work we're going to do all right pretty funny how how small these screws are that they give you to hold this thing together so all the hardware and uh, the screws and everything and the the wood structure itself just chintzy and cheesy on this deal Right there so the, uh, the top of the egg uh, collecting area is now repaired um, still probably gonna fall apart here before too long but maybe that'll make it go a little longer
All right, so um, I don't know how much of that you could see or how much I'm gonna put in here. I was probably in the way of the, of the action there, but I went ahead and screwed the top of the ladder in with big screws. It had the little tiny ones. Um, down here at the bottom of the ladder, we needed to put a uh, board across to support the bottom of the ladder up above the ground because the way this is designed, the bottom of the ladder would sit on the ground. And if I add wheels and I want to move it around, that ladder just is going to get caught when you're moving and uh, create problems. So the bottom of the ladder I have propped up on this cross piece. So uh, that way when you're moving it, there's nothing to drag the ground. It's just on these runners. I will be buying some wheels to go on the back as I did with my other chicken tractor. You can see I added the wire uh, handle on the front and how I made that by twisting the wire together. So anyway, um, we're about done and have this about ready. I'm gonna look inside and see what I need to do in here. But um, the ladder's secured and the handle's on and I can bring it back up on the forks and take it out and drop it off for now. But when I wanna move it around, I'll need to add the wheels later. So then we will be putting the baby chicks in today so that they've got outdoor space and a little bit of indoor space. And it's gonna look a little crowded here at first, but um, this is only temporary. And we're just using what we have on hand, as usual here. So as you can see, there's the, uh, the bottom support for the ladder going across there. And the chickens will roost on it as well. You can also see my wire handles out of the way of this door. So uh, I've used rope previously, but today I wanna to try this wire version and I put a little piece of PVC on there so that your hands don't get hurt when you're pulling on it. But, um, you know, just slapping and scrapping things together. All right, we're out here doing chicken chores this morning, right? Yeah. And we've been using this uh, updated chicken coop, and I just wanted to show you, I did add some simple wheels here to the back end so that we can move it. Nothing too fancy, um, kind of similar to what I did on the other one. So this is now more, uh, it's kind of a combination coop and uh, chicken tractor because they're on the actual ground and uh, it can be moved around but not a daily move type thing something like that but it's just it's got to be easier with these wheels so this is the first time that we'll be moving it this morning and see how they react so let's see if Eliza can hold the camera can you just hold it up for me no. you won't hold it up for me no. you won't help dad here, just stand here and hold it. Point it at the coop while Dad moves it. Okay, let's start.
Well, that was just a lot easier to move with the little wheels attached to the back. These ones are metal hubs with no air in the tires. I know a lot of people kind of uh, want to do the big wheels, and I'm just so cheap that I go with these, whatever I can find that's the cheapest, and they are new from the, from the tractor supply store, so... I think these ones were 10 bucks a piece or something. Uh, anyway, it's hard to find little wheels and tires and hubs that, that are all low cost. So the bolts uh, and nuts and washers become a little axle. And um, so it's so simple, but really makes the, the move a lot easier and it is going to create a little small gap here but not on any enough to uh, have a predator get through. This girl's trying to peck me. That one's going to peck me too. So anyway that's um, hey quit that. So that makes it way easier to move. I've had this thing for years and finally get to where I can move it.